What's up, team? This is Eddie Gray, and I found myself working with the ever so talented Tosh Neal. I am from LA, born and raised, and I do what I do because I have to. I absolutely need this as much as I need to breathe. So Tosh and I ended up writing a song on the spot. One of the benefits of a songwriting camp like this is the fact that you don't have that much time to actually think it over. You're not going through that analysis paralysis that usually can be associated with inactivity and inefficiency. And so we met, I looked at him right in the eyes and I knew he was a world-class talent. And my job was really just to try and find how to make his voice, how to make the song work. And so I was just trying to find the the right way to present it. And so we came up with a basic working idea that Tosh and I essentially drafted inside of Captain Chords. He pulled out his guitar and we were running through all the various uh, chords. And so that was pretty cool. Once we got a general idea of what the song was going to be, we started thinking about all the instruments and started thinking of the era that we were going to try and work in. And we decided with the electric piano as kind of the primary force that was going to be leading the song. And uh, I decided Keyscape would be the best sound for the job. And so here's a Rhodes. Check it out. And we very much thought this was a Bill Withers kind of sound. Anyway, at some point I overdubbed this with a Celeste. Check it out. And so all of that was simple enough. At some point we decided to start laying down the groundwork, all things bass and drums. And I use what I think is the very best bass plugin in the game in Moto Bass by IK Multimedia. Not only do you get to physically model your instrument, but you can play around with the playing style. Are you picking? Are you slapping? Are you uh, playing finger bass? The positioning in which you play the bass, muting, all sorts of stuff. I love this thing so much. And this is our rhythm section here. So I was just trying to get a nice funky groove. On top of that, I was using in the same family Moto Drums by IK Multimedia. Very similar to Moto Bass with the, all the modeling and all the detail. Just outstanding instruments that really get your music to come to life. And um, once that was established and Tosh sent over his vocals, we basically had the, the main idea. After that, I remember thinking of embellishing the track. And so I added this simple synthesizer part. Check it out. So that on top of what we already had, I'll go ahead and omit the vocals for a quick sec here. Um, it sounded like this. All right, and if you're wondering about that little trickle sound, Because I spend a lot of time working with my sample libraries and doing my best to get to know all the various sounds, uh, I thought that Lo-Fi Glow was going to be the best sound for this. I narrowed it down, not because I know every single sound inside of Lo-Fi Glow, but I just remember studying this particular library and trying to characterize it or at least categorize it and put it somewhere in my memory bank so that when I had something, I knew I could come to a great source. So that is essentially all of the music. I did 
add uh, a guitar in the background just to kind of you know give it some analog feel ran that through cassette by waves factory just to give it a really kind of you know wavy feel and then uh once tosh sent in his incredible vocal this was really it um he basically established the bass line and we were ready to go so here it is right here in all its splendor So there it is right there. I really like this end bell. At the end of the process, Tosh and I were chatting over Zoom and I asked him, what else do you think we need? And he's like, can we get some kind of bell sound? And I was able to find this, which I really loved it. Check it out. So in and of itself doesn't particularly sound very exciting, but when you play with the track, it really does make such a grand difference. Sing on that day. Yeah, for me, it particularly made the, the the whole song, but there was there was just so many little great moments. But again, I just stress that the best thing was not thinking and not overthinking, and we're just getting to the core of the song. What does it need? And then either he or I would execute. He was such a phenomenal writer, so easy to work with. He made this so uh, just smooth, and, and the workflow was so clean, so... Uh, for any of you that are out there trying to collaborate, trying a lot of it does have to do with finding somebody that compliments you and compliments maybe the things that you don't do or perhaps don't do as well. Yeah, the whole process was amazing from beginning to end. Tosh is an amazing dude, singer, songwriter, and uh, 411 is just amazing. Great company. It's actually one of the very first companies that I got started with. So much love, much respect to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Just wanted to say thank you so much. Uh, many blessings. Stay up. Keep learning. Keep growing. Keep evolving. And keep your frequency high. See you later.